Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now been admitted ABC and their moderators and, and the female moderator in specific, Lindsey Davis, has come out and said, yes, we wanted to fact check Trump because CNN supposedly did not fact check Trump to liberals liking. And we remember, if you go back to that CNN debate, the narrative coming out of it was whether or not they actually fact check Trump, it really didn't matter because of how bad Biden was in like the 10 minute the thing that Biden had where he just couldn't speak. That was always going to be playing in people's heads. But the overall narrative from liberals was that they accused CNN of being in bed with Trump. They said that they did a terrible job. They did not fact check Trump at all. They just were unbiased. And that's how that whole thing went down. And so Lindsey Davis here basically says we were aware of that. And we were aware of the liberal slander that the CNN moderators, Jake Tapper, Dana Bash, they received, and we were not going to let that happen. So it was important for us to fact check Trump. And while that's good and all, I mean, you can argue, should should they be fact checking anyone? The answer is no in a debate like that. And the reason is because what happened several times when they were fact checking Trump, number one, if you are going to fact check, you have to fact check both candidates. They did not do that. And this is admitted by them saying we had to fact check Trump and we wanted, we wanted to put a big emphasis on it because of the backlash that CNN got from liberals saying that they let Trump get away with stuff when they should have fact-checked him when CNN was just being moderate. The other issue with fact-checking is sometimes your fact-checking is not correct, and there were several instances where what the moderators, David Murr in in particular, what they said turned out to be lies about Trump. So Trump would say something negative about Harris, and then he would come in and say, no, that's not true, and it turns out it actually is true. So he's fact-checking wrong about Trump. There are several times where that happened. And then also just the blatant lies on the big core issues. Kamala Harris blatantly lying about abortion uh, with certain states where, I mean, ABC has a map that shows the late term abortion and, 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 you know, how late you can actually get the abortion. Some states have no restrictions on it. She blatantly lies about it. They don't fact check her. And now Lindsey Davis is admitting, uh, you know, you can see she's got backlash for fact checking Trump being biased towards Harris. She was like Harris's sor- sorority sister. I mean, come on. You can't find another moderator. Do you not think that's a bad look if you're ABC? One of the moderators who's supposed to be impartial is a sorority sister to Kamala Harris. It's ridiculous. Trump uh, said that the ABC moderators were biased. It was three on one. That was a common thing that Republicans were saying. It was three on one. She reveals why it's important to fact check Trump in a post debate interview. Davis acknowledged that the fact checking of Trump was impacted by the earlier CNN debate, which ended badly for Joe Biden, leading to a, to his withdrawal from the 2024 race. Of course, whether or not like it really, we all know if you actually watch that debate, them whether or not CNN fact checked Trump and Jake Tapper started to go at go at it with Trump or not, it wouldn't have mattered. Biden was terrible because he couldn't talk. Like like that's just the reality of it. Um, and then apparently she was speaking at a breakfast at the Ritz Carlton in Philadelphia. Davis said she only intended to address worries that Trump's remarks may hang there unchecked by Harris or the moderators, just like his June debate against Biden. So this is a literal liberal talking point. You are a moderator, honey. You don't get to be liberal and biased. What you just said or, or that viewpoint, what she's saying, where they can't let Trump's talking points, whatever he wants to say, go unchecked because, oh, it could influence people if he says false information. That is not something a moderator, that's not something for them to decide. And if it is for them to decide, then you also need to fact check the other candidate. Why would she admit this? She is admitting to being biased. That is a liberal talking point to say that we could not let Trump go unchecked during his debate to where he could spew lies and 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 Kamala Harris doesn't get to respond because the mics are muted. What you are saying is a liberal talking point. You're a, you are a moderator that is supposed to be unbiased. We're like living in la-la land here with these people. Quote, people were concerned that statements were allowed to just hang there and not be disputed by the candidate Biden at the time or the moderators. One of the mo- vi- viral debate moments, Davis adamantly informed Trump that there is no state in the country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. She corrected the former president and of course, um, the, the thing with abortion, just in general, it's always, and I think Trump needs to stay off of, of abortion, but it's, it's, they always argue the outliers when, when, when in reality, I don't want to get, get into this because YouTube doesn't like it, but they always argue the outliers, like the horrible moments when it comes to, 
you know, get, getting an abortion or not getting one. Um, but just in general, it was really not even her, the one that was fact checking Trump. It was Murr. Murr was really bad with it. But but these are just these are pure liberal talking points. And she's like, yeah, we fact checked. I mean, we, we fact checked Trump, ABC moderator, Lindsay. Look at this. The Times of India. So the, uh, the Times of India now is breaking the big story that the debate was biased. Where is CNN's article about this? Oh, of course, it's the New York Post, so they can just write it off as being conservative. Yeah. The Times of India is the first thing that shows up. I mean, it's absurd. ABC moderator Lindsey Davis admits to fact-checking Trump due to concerns raised in CNN debate. ABC's Lindsey Davis, it's basically the same thing. He admits to fact-checking Trump because CNN let his statements hang at the first debate. And again, this is not, you cannot have this viewpoint as a moderator. This is a liberal talking point. Do you not understand that both of the candidates lie? Kamala Harris blatantly lied about huge stuff. One of the topics that was in her wheelhouse about how late you can have abortions. She lied. There was no, ABC's own map shows in terms of how late you can get an abortion in per state. They show she lied, but there's no fact checking of that. You cannot do this. So this woman is admitting that we were pressured by the big bad liberals that said, oh my God, the demon Trump, they didn't fact check him well enough. Uh, of course, I mean, I'm sure, you know, these are the same people that want Trump dead. They do want Trump. They, they, they want him killed. I mean, they've admitted it and they're, they're angry that that another assassination. Type. I Trump's got to win this election if he makes it. Let's hope he makes it. But he's got to win this election because it's just so bad. Uh, Fox News, ABC, Lindsey Davis said she intended. What is this? This is from Fox News on Facebook. Says she intended to... Fact check former President Trump over concerns of the CNN debate were just allowed to hang and now she is proven wrong about her abortion claim. Yeah, so she fact checked him and she got it wrong on the fact check. That's it's, Murr got it, got it wrong several times as well. Um, so the idea that she would admit, admit this, it just it's unbelievable that these people feel safe doing this and, and basically saying, yes, the debate was rigged against Trump in a three on one fashion. And I mean, I would love for someone to have like, I have like an actual conversation and say like, so, okay, we know Trump was fact checked like seven or eight times. You said there was an emphasis on that. Were you guys just not going to fact check Harris at all? Cause she said many different false statements that were blatantly false to the point where, I mean, you've got liberal fact checkers like Snopes admitting that the very fine people thing was totally taken out of context. You didn't say anything about that. So this was just, so I just want to make sure this was clear. Like if I was having a conversation with this woman, I would just say, I just want to make sure this is clear. You're saying that you're admitting that this, is, this was a totally biased debate. I just want to make sure that's clear. And if it's not, if it wasn't a biased debate, why didn't you fact check Harris when she blatantly said false things that other liberal outlets like Snopes have proven that they're false, like the very fine people in Charlottesville. So, and then I'd love to hear her answer to that. I don't, I don't think she's ever going to get asked that question though. It's funny. Uh, but either way, guys. This is admitted. This is put it to rest. It was the moderator is admitting that it was biased. She is using liberal talking points to explain why the debate was biased. So no wonder. But uh, it is pretty crazy. Either way, guys, it is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.